going on guys today i'm going to be showing you the long-awaited updated video of the ps4 pro that's water cooled and along with my cat she wants to join me she won't leave me alone right now but um yeah so what's left to do with this is pretty much just cosmetic work as you can see this panel right here it um it's slightly crooked a little bit i just need to use some 3m tape or something like that and put it on the back to make sure it stays in place as well as like some cosmetic stuff like paint blemishes i just got to go over that and also if you can notice there's about an inch gap right here i did this because the water pump was kind of sticking out a little because the case was a little bit too small and the way how i did that is i used these polyurethane spacers along with some rubber to protect the glass from cracking if i tightened it too much and i also had to do that was because this bend right here that I did with the acrylic tubing was kind of sticking out a little bit. And uh, yeah, I was kind of hitting it. So that was the main reason why I had to do this too. So yeah, let's turn on the PS4 Pro. Power button. As you can see, well, as you can hear, the Blu-ray drive is playing right now. I left the movie in it because I was just watching one last night. But this is a good uh, chance to show you how I did the Blu-ray eject button. So to eject the Blu-ray, I made this custom button right here, which went through the three and a half millimeter headphone jack outlet thing that was right there. I kind of just got rid of it and installed my own button. So if I push right here, the Blu-ray movie comes out like that and as you can see here is the ps4 pro and I'll take my remote there you go as you can see it's working and then we can go to settings I can show you the hard drive size So I installed a 4 terabyte hard drive and as always it always goes less than what you actually have in storage for the software and stuff. But um, yeah, also here's the LED remote that I have. So you can do different colors obviously, it's, it's red, it's just white, I personally think that looks the best, but if you do like this like really light blue kind of makes the water look black and all the red look black as well so that looks pretty nice but um i usually leave it on white with with the pulsing option i just leave it at that and right here you can see the temperature of the liquid itself and now it's 24 degrees celsius so eventually what this is going to be the PS4 unit itself is going to be mounted on the wall right here on this closet that's no longer being used. And it'll probably be up in this space right here above the lock. And then with that there, my projector screen will be able to come down and go over it. And then the projector is up there. And it will pretty much just hide that and so it will be right behind the screen itself. Also, another thing that I promised for you guys is in the bottom of the description on this video, I'm going to put the parts list of everything that I got so that you guys can recreate this project. The whole purpose of the series is to show and give you guys the opportunity to be able to do this for yourself. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the bottom and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more videos like this in the future.
forgot to mention the most important thing, and that is the temperature performance of the PS4 Pro itself. So I've been running some arcade gameplay on uh, Battlefront 2, and right now it is pretty much just chilling at 35 degrees Celsius. Sometimes it'll go up to around 39 degrees, but at idle it stays at around 31. So um, yeah, the average is about 35 it stays at. Yeah, there you go.